which is fantastic. I, I was going to skip this Saturday's video. However, something rather interesting has just happened. Um, there were some rumoured reports last week about the original Resident Evil trilogy coming to PC. And, you know, I thought, interesting, if true. And lo and behold, it's actually happened, but not in a way that I would have thought. Um, it's actually arrived on GOG. I'm assuming, and this is an assumption, that we're going to get it on GOG, and then maybe later on down the road, we're going to get it on Steam. I would love to see this particular version come to um, consoles, but eh, who knows? We shall see. Um, let's take a little look. So here we are. Resident Evil. I believe this actually dropped today. I have, I don't know why it says 17 minutes, but I have not played 17 minutes of this game. Um, but uh, yeah, so I believe this came out today. Also, if we click the Discover tab, Evil has a new address, yours. Um, somehow, if we go to the GOG, I've never used GOG Galaxy, by the way. Uh, I just used the website, but I'm guessing this is just going to load the website, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So here's all the blurb. It's eight ninety nine. Oh, there's a standard dish. Oh, right. So there's a standard dish and and a bundle which you can't click well you can it's just very slow so what does the bundle include oh my god my sweet sweet children it has resident evil 2 and resident evil 3 holy shit what a time to be alive um so two and three aren't out yet the bundle is 20 21 pounds basically for all three resident evil games the original trilogy is it worth it absolutely in my in my um opinion as long as it's good you know um there isn't a lot of information here on what they've actually improved uh i don't know if there's actually any way of clicking and if it's actually going to tell us so your special blah 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 so it doesn't actually say, ah, here we go. So, full compatibility with Windows 10 and 11, all four localizations of the game, improved DirectX game renderer. Now, something I did notice is this game does look quite nice. New rendering options, window mode, vertical synchronization control, camera correction, integer scaling, and yeah. I don't know how we access this. Improved timing of the cutscenes, improved game video player, improved game registry settings. So I'm guessing we can actually go into the registry and change things. Issue free game exit and task switching. That's very nice. Full support for modern controllers. Yep. Sony DualSense, Sony DualShock, Microsoft Xbox Series. Yeah. All of the good stuff. Um, with optimal button binding regardless of hardware or wide mode be completely uncut with more blood graphic violence and gore scenes then okay so this is interesting so it's gorier than the original release a swarm of unknown horrors prowl the mansions hundreds of rooms was there hundreds of rooms was there you sure including the underground lairs the graveyard and some unwelcoming guest houses Unprecedented detail, intense texture maps, shadows, lighting effects, ever-changing camera angles create frighteningly rich 3D environments. Choose to play through, play tough guy, marksman, Chris Resfield, or hardcore demolition expert, Jill Valentine. Has she ever been referenced as a demolition expert before? Interesting. Both brought to life with realistic polygon character graphics. Ah, I see. Well, anyway, without any further bullshit, because <laughs> I was going to try and save my voice as much as possible. 
let's play the game. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I don't really know <laughs> how GOG works. This is the first game I've bought on GOG since Cyberpunk. So I guess we just click play. And I know we just click play. I'm using my uh, Xbox Series Elite 2 controller. So we're synchronizing. I'd rather just play the game. Now, let's see. Very low resolution Capcom. Splash there. <coughs> and there, of course, is our beloved intro uh, in all of its low poly goodness. Now, it doesn't look like there's any. Uh, yeah, so there's no um, options or anything. I guess if you're going to want to change anything, it's going to have to be done in the any file. Let's see if we can activate the easy mode because we're just having a fun run. I believe if we hold the left on the controller, and then new game should green, I believe. Maybe it's not in this version. Oh. Okay, it's just going to load through a demo. All right, whatever. Let's just go new game. We know what we're doing. It's bloody Resident Evil, for God's sakes. Probably complete this game with my eyes shut. Let's pick cult favorite Jill and get into the game. I'm going to rest my voice whilst the intro plays. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriot, Bravo Team, who disappeared in the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently innocent. Bravo Team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Holy balls, I was not expecting that to be the full 
gore cutscene. Completely uncensored. Jill Valentine. I believe that was the first time <coughs> I've actually seen it. 38. Oh, Baza. One year older than me. The best rendition of Wesker. Well, uh, maybe, Resident maybe um, I could concede to the remake was a pretty badass Wesker. Yes. What is this? Okay. Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? that door a creeper what is it maybe it's chris now jill can you go i'm going with you chris is our old partner you know okay let me handle this okay okay stay alert I'm noticing things straight away. The dining room. Okay, so I've noticed that the pauses between the lines of dialogue are much, much shorter. It it flows a lot better. It's not obviously not perfect. I mean, you know, this isn't Shakespeare. This is Resident Evil 1. But there's none of that annoying, like, stutter loading pause like you get on the PlayStation uh, versions and the PlayStation emulators. Uh, uh, well, just the emulators in general. It flows so much faster. Uh, the button layout is interesting. I believe... I believe... It's the director's cut sort of buttons, which is interesting. So we've got our knife. We can check. We've got relatively high resolution. And, you know, what? it's interesting. This game is running at 60 as well. This game is 60 FPS at higher resolutions, which feels interesting. Never played this game at 60. Oh my god, it's so... It's so smooth. It's so smooth. Yeah, that's... that That's cool. And the transitions between cutscene... Uh, between camera angles. There's no lag. There's nothing. It just happens instantly. There isn't that half a second pause like you get on emulators. And on PlayStation 1 uh, versions, on PS4 and PS5, for instance, which, let's be fair, were terrible versions anyway. Ha. Huh. Okay. Dusty looking grandpa, of course. What? All right, Baza. What is, what is this? What is it? <laughs> Blood. Jill, see if you can find <laughs> any other clues. I'll be examining this. Yeah, you examine that blood. This is not Chris's, Chris's blood. blood. Yeah, you examine that, Baza. I'm going to go find a zombie. <gasps> Guys, you can skip the doors. You can skip the doors. And it loads. Or, oh, like, instantly. You could. Oh my god, is this the definitive edition of the original game? I think it might be. Bear in mind, this is... Mm. Evening. Haven't seen you for a while, sir. Oh, we've got the auto-aim, which is nice. Even the gun. If, because you're double the frame rate, it feels a lot faster. I know we don't need to kill him. Kenneth from Star's Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. All right, well, he has ammo for us, so we're going to take that. Yeah, I can't believe you can skip the doors. That's so cool. Ah. Yes, 
Yes, it works. Out of interest. Three shots with a magnum, man. You cannot skip these cutscenes by the look of things. What is it? Which is a bit of a shame. Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. But I'm sure we're gonna be getting mods and things. Like this is gonna be a very well modified version. I imagine it's gonna be compatible with all the current mods. Ah, oh, skipping the doors. Oh, that's so good. Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Uh, we're not gonna leave the hall. Let's just go run around the back side. Oh my god, it's so smooth and fast. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. It gets me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, he can't be hiding. <clears throat> Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. <laughs> this mansion is gigantic. gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get Yeah, we're not going to get into trouble. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lock pick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. I thought I was the demolitions expert. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Maybe we will. Right. See you in a minute, Baza. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time I'll be there. Uh huh. How are we gonna know if something happens? We don't have radios. At least Jill doesn't have a radio. Anyway, oh my god, I'm never gonna get over being able to skip the fucking doors. Oh my god, skipping the doors. That's like, apart from the frame rate, which is jarringly good. <laughs> oh, I'm smiling like a fucking Cheshire cat right now. All right, give me the map. Okay. Now, I've never played the PC version of this game. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know if there's going to be any, like, subtle differences. Evening. Is there nothing here? I thought there was supposed to be something here. Well, it's been a while since I played, so. All right. Also, there's a painting back there, wasn't that? But that was on the uh, original. Uh, no, that was in the remake, I should say. We have used the lockpick. Come on, Jill. Fight her. Right, let's go take care of these dogs. Hey, the dogs look good. Yeah, all the, the character models are just much higher resolution. Um, I'm pretty sure people are going to start modding this game with high resolution packs and all that stuff. If Capcom are really smart, what they'll do is they will integrate... The Steam Workshop into these uh, versions of the games. Now, let's be clear, <laughs> they probably won't. But can you imagine if they just integrate Steam Workshop straight in, so you can get new costumes, you can get um, I don't know, like arranged modes. Oh, look, there's a there's a good view of Jill's character model. Yeah, it's way better than the PlayStation version. Yeah, well, obviously, right? Um, I mean, they could have done a little bit more. You know, they could have added, like, an actual proper in-game menu or something, uh, which they haven't. You know, there could have been a nice little uh, resolution bump, maybe some sort of widescreen support, but we're just, we're just, you know, getting a bit excited right now. We should be appreciative that we finally have an official route of giving Capcom money and buying these original versions again. Which, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. It is something that we've been wanting for a very long time. And you know, I think £9 is... 
I think for a lot of people that might be a little bit steep, but it is cheap enough where it is just a bit of an impulse buy, isn't it? You fancy playing the original, the original Resident Evil. It's nine pounds. All 20, but all three. You know, that's like seven quid each. Or just over seven quid each. You can't argue with that. I'm not actually sure how much it costs on um, the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 4. Um, I'm pretty sure. Let's look that up, actually. You're right. Resident didn't you see you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Um uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Yeah, the, the PS5 version is not very good. Right. That's interesting. So on the PlayStation um, PS Store, it's actually three pound ninety nine, which is a bargain. But don't forget this being on Steam, which I assume is eventually going to come to Steam anyway. I guess we'll find out. Uh, means it's probably going to be on sale. So am I going to buy this game again when it comes to Steam? Uh, obviously. Right, picture of a tired middle-aged man. There's a switch. We don't need that. There's the picture of a newborn. Hi. The Cradle to the Grave. One of my favorite Resident Evil um, puzzles. Infant. And I believe the lively boy. There we go. And then we want the middle-aged man, which was here, I think. Tired middle-aged man. Hey, I feel your brother. I feel yeah. I feel like a tired middle-aged man. I am one. Ah, shit. It's fine. Right, let's grab you. And grab ourselves. Wait, what did we do wrong? No. We didn't do anything wrong. Bloody crow bastards. How do we fuck that up? Right. Title is All Living Things Are Death. Wait, what? Is that the Japanese? Is that the Japanese title? There are some things different here. Tired middle-aged man. No, we don't want that. Picture of a newborn baby. We want the newborn baby. And then we want the infant. And then we want the lively boy. Yes. Ah, a young man. We missed the young man, didn't we? Got ahead of myself. And then we want the tired middle-aged man. Yes. There we go. Yeah, so this this version, things are called different things. How interesting. Yeah, uh, the Cradle to the Grave is a much better puzzle name than All Living Things Must Die. Uh, I'm really curious now as to what other things are different. I don't know whether this is based on... Because also, in that um, behind that zombie laying on the floor in the map room. I was sure there was uh, ink ribbons back there. Let's go check this puzzle out. Let's see if this thing says the same. Or at least roughly the same. Come on, Fido. <clears throat> oh, I do apologize about my voice. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. Then, great, a 
negated new life will open. Yeah, pretty sure that's about spot on from uh, my memory anyway. <coughs> okay, fine, fine. Uh, now, let's... I'm noticing that my microphone level is very quiet as well. Uh, I think the cats have moved the dial. Right, that's fine. That's something that can be edited in post. Get up, you sack of shit. Just one zombie down here, huh? Curious. Got plenty of herbs. I have no idea how long... Wait a minute. Oh. Is there no ink ribbons in the PC version? What? Really? No ink ribbons? Huh. How very interesting. How very interesting. Uh, we don't... Oh, God. We don't... So that is something that's worth noting, I guess. Probably don't want the shotgun just yet. As much as I do want to take it with me. Right. I can't believe there's no ink ribbons in the PC version. I had no idea. I was wondering why we hadn't found any yet. Ah, oh, being able to skip. It's transformative, I tell you. Right. You're done. Or you will be. There we go. Yeah, the zombie models are very nice. I mean, they're not... Like I say, the detail isn't, like, super high or anything. And the backgrounds are obviously about the same. Maybe a tad high resolution. But not transformative. But it's more the gameplay itself that has been dialed up. It's how fluid the game is. Uh, the skippable doors. The fact that it just works without emulation. It's a no-brainer, really, all round. The botany book. Oh my god, see how quickly you can scroll. Are you serious? Oh my god. You can scroll so fast. Nothing uncommon. Okay. I don't think there is anything else in here, is there? Nothing uncommon. Nope, that's fine. All right. Uh, we need the armor key for. Yeah, just about every door around here we need the armor key for. Except that one, I believe. Oh, no, that is the armor key as well. All right, let's go see Baza. Berries. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, Any clues? Jill, but something's wrong with these pots. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Let's separate again. Just a moment. Just a moment. I found something. <laughs> what is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially, Especially against, against living things. things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have, have this. Oh, Thank you. Endlessly I'll quotable. Take this, then. Thanks, Baza. That's a bit like giving me uh, a bottle of gas for a cooker that I don't have. Fantastic. I do like it in the remake where he says it's a can of fizz. <laughs> a can of fizz. Oh, Baza, you kidder. Right. Yeah, all the animations just animate so quickly. Right, we... Let's just kill him. 
Okay, there we go. Come on. Is he not dead? Let's kill this guy as well then. Put a nice clean round in his back. Waste of time killing those guys, to be honest. They'll be hunters before long. Drop that down. Yeah, absolutely no pausing, no stuttering. None of that CD seek time nonsense. Just all glorious gameplay, baby. Even um, going in and out of your inventory is fast and fluid. Which is nice. Seems like a little thing, but... These things do mount up. And we are really running low on bullets now. Okay. Let's just get into the save room. And yeah, you can save your progress with this. It's so bizarre that there's absolutely no increments. And uh, there is a clear and easy uh, save folder as well. So it's going to be really not a problem to extract your saves from this game, which is very nice. Um, I guess we'll take the shotgun. I guess we will. You know, we're going to get plenty of shotgun shells anyway. Not that... Oh, hello. Not that any of that's going to really matter, to be fair. Because, you know, we're not going to be completing it. What's that one? That's an armor. Wait a minute. Can we get straight in to the... Uh, Oh, that's as satisfying as ever. Can we go straight into this? We can. All right, so let's go get the chemical. Was it in the remake that you needed a key for that? Or maybe not at all, actually. Maybe not at all. Maybe I'm just old and confused, like Baza. Um, we don't need a herb. Where's the chemical? It has definitely been a hot... Oh, shit. Keep getting the wrong way around that. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I played this. But it's all coming back to me. Like riding a bike. Not that I ever had a bike, but, you know. Um, Let's go dump the chemical in. We don't have to worry about um changing the... Uh, switch around or any of that nonsense. And there is our key. Okay. I suppose whilst we're here we can grab up some herbs. One thing I do miss from the emulated version though is the ability to speed the game up. That was always good fun. Give me all of that herbage. Mm -mm -mm. Everything's green, if you know what I mean. Lovely. I guess we could mix up a super herb. Or two. Save up a little bit of... Uh, and then we'll just munch one of those. Just to save up a little bit of uh, inventory space. Now, that gives us the armor key. Now, what we could do, you know, shotgun, strategically remove some skulls, use the lockpick, let's go get some more shotgun shells and a magazine, itchy tasty, nothing special, oh there is something special in here Jill, something very special. Oh my god, it's the keeper. Get out of here, sir. Thanks for the shotgun shells. You know what? It's fine. The 
keep his diary. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to punish my voice that much. Okay, so we could go get the blue gem. And we can go search out the uh, other rooms now. We can grab the blue gem. I don't think, can we get to the music room yet? Pretty sure we can't. Oh, we can get into the music room. Interesting. <clears throat> now, the actual music isn't in two different pieces, is it, in this one? Yeah, but we are out of... out of inventory slots and that's fine because we can go and roll with one for now let's go use the blue gem let's give us shotgun sh no it's another crest so it's another crest okay let's go back to the box jiggle our junk around because we're really pushing the limit here it looks like that tiger has more um, geometry as well. Definitely looks like a higher detailed. Cheeky. We can get a magazine in here. Now, I'm pretty sure there was ink ribbons in here if we used the lockpick as well. So what do we, ah, we get shotgun shells this time. Or maybe it was always shotgun shells. Who knows? There's also the broken shotgun. Rah, you son of a bitch. You know what? There we go. That's what I think of your bollocks. Come here, you little bollocks. We're fine. Oi. Fucking rotten old bastard. There we go. Now. Let's drop you. You've got a lot of handgun ammo now. Don't need you anymore. We'll keep the mansion key. That is the armor key, I believe. Which means... But... Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh my god, it's the way she runs. She runs so freaking fast. It's actually bonkers how fast she's running right now. We can go do this one at least. Yeah, that's going to take some getting used to. You can really fly through this game. Like, seriously. The idea that there's no ink ribbons needed either is pretty insane. I wonder why. I wonder why they did that then on the PlayStation version. Beautiful piece of music here. That's where I first discovered that delightful tune. you we're gonna get trapped oh no oh my let's put the wooden board back even that just like the animation of the door uh the, the little hatch going up and down is so much faster and smoother it's kind of impressive actually all right let's Stick you in there. Let's get yet another key. Don't mind if I do. Right, give me that. So that's another mansion key. 
Now, let us brain. So now we need to go back over to the other side of the mansion. And start opening some more doors. Now, if memory serves me correctly, that we need, we can go through, yes. The magazine, which we shall take. A zombie through here as well. Yeah. Evening, Squire. Have some death on the house. And I believe this is some shotgun shells. Yes, very nice. Very nice. We shall take those. What else? Ah, yes. Don't actually think there's anything of any real value in this room, to be honest. There was, yeah, nothing special. It's like literally two herbs. And I believe this is where you can get the um, special costumes in um, later playthroughs. Don't have the key, that's it, yeah. Uh, there's also ink ribbons in that little booth area, I believe, and isn't there? Various things. Wait a minute. I'm sure. Maybe I'm thinking of the remake. Where there's a file to read there. I'm not sure. Anyway. Let's get out of here. So that's that done. Go back through this room which we have plundered. We have the armor key now, don't we? So we can use this one. Now, there isn't a huge amount out here apart from an absolute metric butt ton of herbs. Which, to be fair, we can take a couple. I mean, we're gonna go back to the uh, save room anyway, so why not? Um, oh, that is a kick in the knickers, though. It's still four herbs there. And we can deal with that dog when we come back through next time. Right, so we can't go through there because we need to get the key from our friend. Let's go jiggle our junk around. Um, let's drop... Our herbs. Put a fresh load of ammo back in there. You know what? Let's give it a save. <clears throat> okay. So. See, I am wondering how, like, reliable this game's going to be. Like, are we going to get crashes and stutters and that kind of thing? I uh, kind of hope not. It does seem to be operating pretty well, to be fair. Right now. There's the lighter, which we can use in two different places. There's ammo here. And there's a red herb. Which we will take. I wonder, actually, is there... Mention. I'm sure so. in one of the versions of this game you can search these and it mentions that there are footsteps which just go straight through the bed. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, we got the lighter. Now we also need to drain the tank. And again, from what I can remember. That coat had some ink ribbons in it before. Appears to be a switch. Let's flick the switch. And let's get rid of you. Let's move you out of the way. Let's push you right over. 
and inside there's the grenade ammo. Very nice. Nothing special. Really? Yes, the researchers will. Certainly will have that. Yeah, because I think you actually get a uh, important item from there in the original, uh, in the remake. Right, let's go Looking around here. We can't get in there yet. Yeah, we need the helm key level, which to be fair, we should be getting in the not too distant future. Okay. And I want to use the lighter. we have our map. Beautiful. So let's get back outside. Now we are going to probably want to go jiggle some stuff around. Yeah, we need to get rid of the herb. But what I like about this though is, you know, Going back to the item box to jiggle stuff around is just so fluid. It's so fast. There's no fucking around at all. It just works wonderfully. Uh, I think we'll keep the lighter on us for now. Because we're going to need the lighter in the not too distant future. For its second and final use. So, let's go get the other crest. Almost got all the crests already. My god. We are absolutely flying through this. Which, you know, is no surprise. I guess you play a game 50,000 times over the course of your life. You kind of know it back to back. There's a switch. That would have been really embarrassing if we got gassed there. So that should be another quest. Now there's only one left to get. Throw this bad boy away. Let's go meet our old pal, Mr. Witched. least if he's still here anyway which of course he's still here he's been here for 20 years Fletcher, what happened Rachel, this house is dangerous there are terrible demons <laughs> ouch you're wounded what kind of demon attacked you it was a huge snake a huge snake Serum. <coughs> oh no, I should have brought some with me. <laughs> no problem. I'll go and get it. <coughs> Thanks. No problem. Yes, 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 yes. Game. I know where the damn serum is. All right, let's go get poor little Witchet the serum. Now, if you don't actually get it in time, he dies, apparently. But I don't think I've ever had that occur, to be honest. But I'm sure it is a thing. It's not just like an urban myth that I've heard somewhere. All right, let's go grab up the serum. And whilst we're here, we can drop. That. I usually like to keep my inventory a little bit tidier than this, as you guys will know, but I don't care. <laughs> this isn't actually a complete... I say this isn't a completion run, but here I am, playing the fucking whole game, apparently, because 
you don't just, you know, play a little bit of Resident Evil, I guess. <sighs> Still need to get the rocket launcher. I'll go grab that. Come on, Witchet. There's your serum, Witchet. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... He just bleeds no. out all of a sudden. Don't worry, we will be careful of the horrible demon. Hopefully we won't get horribly murdered. No guarantees though. There are no guarantees in life. Only that there is death. Waiting for each and every one of us. Okay. The magazine was starting to build our ammo back up again. And we'll use the mines again. Can we just do this? Kind of curious because I do remember in one version of this game there being uh, a zombie in that room. But it's something that, like, I've never seen since. Um, I don't know where I even saw it. Okay, let's grab. Oops. Okay. Books and gadgetry, eh? Nothing useful. Oh no! It's a snake! A slippery snake. Ooh. Ooh, he... He's quick. Oh, we're stuck. No, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Now yawn. Out of the way, you monster. Luckily, good old Baza. Nurse us back to health. And what for you? Give me the serum. I don't know who she's talking to. Give me the serum. There's nobody there, Jill. Like, really, really, nobody there. All right, Jill, enough for the nap time. We need to go kill zombies and mutants. Oh, my. Hi. Sorry? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it was Barry. Let's be fair. Uh, shells. Give me the shells. Uh, this scrolls nice and quickly as well. I'm not sure if it scrolls faster. Wow, we've got a lot of shotgun shells. We're almost at the point, to be honest, where we could probably just start using the shells. Uh, we've got all the crests that we need. Don't need the lighter. Let us go see Forest. Get our rocket launcher. Or the grenade launcher. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, we need the helmet key for that one. And the other one, we need a code. We can't get the code until Baza gives it to us. Right, let's go see Forest. Ah, uh, wait a minute. There we go. I was going to say my old memory was failing me there for a second. 
The bazooka. We shall take the bazooka. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh my. Well, at least he doesn't get back up. And I believe that's where there's a small key. If you're playing as Chris anyway. Okay. So, let's go back downstairs. Oh, I love that so much to be able to skip the... Um, the doors. It's so good. I suppose whilst we're running past, we can pick up these herbs. Take a nice little cheeky bite out of us, you naughty little sausage. I mean, four herbs is four herbs, right? No point leaving them for the roaches. We've got to pick up the crests anyway. Okay. Goody, goody, come. My God, have we been recording for an hour? I've just looked over at that. Bloody hell. All right. Yeah, this is going to take 73 years to upload, so, <laughs> um, you know what, it's, it's just, you just can't, you just can't stop, you just can't stop playing this, it just doesn't happen, you know, you try to stop, but it's, it's like the T-virus, it's got its claws in you, um, let's drop all of these back. Now we want Mooncrest, Suncrest, uh, Mooncrest. Excellent. Guess we probably could have saved there, but I'm sure it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? You know, apart from getting horribly murdered, but I think that's relatively unlikely. Not impossible. Not impossible relatively unlikely yeah we don't need to read that yeah we, we 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 don't need to read that okay cool glad it doesn't cycle through that every single time all right so come on jill put your back into it woman i believe there's a magazine in here somewhere is there not is my memory failing me once more? Possibly. I really did think there was a magazine there, though. All right, whatever. It's not important. I mean, I guess if I had to say anything about this, it works. And it works extraordinarily well. Let's grab. We're going to leave a full hill here. Just for redundancy. We got the dogs that are going to go mad. There is the map down there. Oh, God. The map down there, but we don't care about that. These dogs won't be here when we come back. So, at least I'm pretty sure they won't be here when we come back. I mean, you know, the full animation, uh, the full motion video works. It's there. In all of its, like, three frames a second glory. Would have been nice if they could have just tuned those up just a little bit, but a bit of AI upscaling Charge or something. Complete. But here's the thing. Because they have released it in such a bare bones way, uh, it probably didn't cost them a lot. Which means, you know, this game only has to sell probably, you know, a few tens of thousands of copies, which I do believe it will do, to turn a profit. <coughs> and as long as Capcom sees a, a profit, you know, it's going to encourage more things. Because as much as I like having the remakes, and I do 
um, very much like having the remakes. I think it's important to preserve the originals as well. I mean, okay, you could probably make the argument with, say, something like the Spyro tr trilogy, for example, whereas the remakes are better than the originals in every single way. But with something like the Resident Evil remakes, you know, where they are so, so different, I think there's absolutely uh, value in having the originals. Okay. Ooh. Evening, zombie. I'm pretty sure they switched these around, didn't they? In the remakes. Oh, that was bad. Come on, you big fat fucker. There we go. Give me the book. Red book. Is that no? Nothing unusual. You can't get behind either. The blood is actually very difficult to see. That's one thing I will mention. Um, the blood is very, very hard to see. Unlike with the original PlayStation, where it was a really deep, dark red. And it was very obvious. Nope. We don't want to check the herbs. We want to eat them, smoke them, whatever we do with them. Nothing major. The toilet. The toilet's pretty major if you need one. And it is in the save room, guys, that I'm going to leave it because I'm probably just going to go and, and complete this game. I'm not actually going to lie. I'm going to go finish this game off, but rest my voice. So anyway, guys, this is the re-release on GOG. I'm going to assume that we're going to go see it on... Um, steam as well at some point which i will be double dipping on uh fingers crossed and as somebody who used to have well i still have a playstation vita and you know the most played game on my playstation vita was the um, playstation one version of resident evil one and when i had my uh ds the most played game I had on that was Resident Evil Deadly Silence. I think it was called Deadly Silence, yeah. Uh, and next month for my birthday, I'm getting an ROG Ally X. So the timing of this is like all of the stars have aligned. So I don't have to go get a stupid emulated version. I can just get the proper PC ports that run beautifully and hopefully some of the mods are going to start trickling out or maybe they're already compatible you know, for high resolutions the range modes this opens so many doors it really does and all i can say is capcom it's about damn time you should have done this 20 well okay maybe not 20 but you should have done this 15 years ago I guess better late than never. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.